tripod. Mm -hmm. Or just a tripod. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Following me. So, We're currently on the side of the road in Iceland. With this beautiful view. Great example for Iceland, what Iceland is like. It's so pretty here. And we thought it would be important to give some travel tips for Iceland. In the next 30 seconds. So we're gonna get a timer up on this side and we're gonna go. First one, you can get a SIM card at any gas station. It costs about 20 bucks for a SIM card and a gigabyte and some talk time. Rent a car for sure. Manual cars are cheaper than automatic cars. So learn how to drive stick. You can get Airbnbs for cheaper than hotels, but still like 90 to 100 bucks a night. Otherwise you could tent or sleep in your car. Uh, get sandwich stuff to eat in the car to save a lot of time and money. Food is actually quite expensive in Iceland. Pack warm clothes. We did the ring road in five days. Most people recommend 10 days to two weeks. All right, we hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, you can contact us or click on the link below with all the information of our trip to Iceland and hopefully that'll help you out if you're planning to go to Iceland. Which you should. It's so beautiful. Everyone in Iceland speaks English, so learn English. We would recommend coming in the summer. You miss the northern lights, but I think the added daylight is totally worth it. You can drive comfortably till midnight. It's still daylight. Gas is about $1.70 to $2 a liter here. Pretty expensive. A ton of the landmarks and natural things to see are free. There's a couple things you need to pay for, including like the hot baths. Everything else, like this roadside or all the waterfalls that we've been to at least, are free. Google Maps is very useful. There are some stretches of the ring road that are super long with no gas stations or anywhere to stop for bathrooms and things. Everywhere, like every single gas station and everywhere we've been to accepts cards, so you don't necessarily need to pull out money when you come. Oh, and come! Sooner than later, we were kind of late in jumping on the Iceland train, I think, but it's still totally worth it. We don't know how much longer like the Glacier Lagoon and stuff is gonna be around. So if you're gonna do it, do it sooner than later. There are a lot of tourists here at the tourist spots, but once you're not at a tourist spot, there's not that many. Well, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs>